A new electric era for the start of the FIA World Rallycross Championship for 2022. And drama, high drama in the first of the two semi-finals. Defending world champion Johan Christofferson missing the start. Fortunately, it was his teammate, Oli Christian Baby, that took the lead and did everything he possibly could to hold the race to allow Christofferson to finish in second position and secure a spot in the final. Semi-final two was equally as dramatic with Nicholas Gronholm choosing to take P5, coming around the outside of the other three cars to take a dramatic lead. He'd have no luck all weekend. And luck was running out for Kevin Hansen in a bump and barge match with Clara Anderson. Timmy Hansen was right behind Gronholm, chasing him all the way. And Timmy Hansen, by the end of proceedings, was to take second position. But Clara Anderson, in her first season, qualifying for the final. It's a five-car lineup for the finale, the last race of the day. And everybody looking for position going into corner number one. With all the bump and barge ahead, Christofferson, the defending world champion, spots a gap, makes his play and draws clear. Hansen, baby. Bronholm and Anderson all battling it out behind the champion. Hansen is in second position. Baby, we're on board with car 52, really battling. But all of the bump and barge behind us, we see them both in the joker lap, allows Johan Christofferson to draw clear and ahead of the rest of the pack. Closing out the race, and Christofferson now enjoying every moment of his 28th career victory and the perfect start for the defending champion in the season opener. To the final of the second RX2 E Series, five car lineup here, all eyes on the season winning opener, Victor Frank, 16 year old Belgium driver, from pole position to the inside line going into corner one. It was looking like a repeat of the season opener with Jokvist and Andersen, the two Swedish drivers, battling it out for second and third position. But once Victor Franks, at just 16 years of age, had got the clear line, there was no stopping the young Belgium on his track to his second win of the season. It was a battle for the other podium places. And here we see Jokvist coming round with an untidy joker lap, allowing Nils Anderson to steal second position right at the end of the challenge. But it is Victor Franks that makes it two out of two. This teenager is a rising star. It's the third stop of the Euro RX1 series and two of the big free race favourites in the final go out early. Fraser McDonald completely misses the start. Disappointment for the Jamaican. And Anton Markland, who's won the first two stops of the season, also getting clipped in corner one and completely going out of contention at corner two, leaving three drivers left in the chase. Andreas Bakkerud, who got the clear and early fast start, continues to pile the pressure on Sondre Evian and Yanis Baumanis. And that was the story through the whole five laps with Bakkerud perhaps taking the most popular victory of the weekend. They call his fans the Bakkerud Blues and the donut celebrations told the story. Round three of the Euro RX three series into the final and Kobe Powell's of Belgium is the young driver to watch. In a little bit of a battle here with Nils Valange going into the first corner. A heavy hit from Czerny, but it is Kobe Powell's who takes the early lead. Valange just behind him, Litvinovic is in third position. Disappointment with all that bump and barge in the opening corners for Espen Isetra. But no problems at all for Kobe Powell, who's dominated throughout the day. A little bit of a close call for Litvinovic coming out of his joker lap, but he just stays ahead of Czerny. Kobe Powell, with his second win from three races of the season, goes to the top of the championship standings once again. It's a good result for Nils Valland, the German in the Audi S1, going second, and Litvinovic of Poland in third position. It's the young Belgian, Kobe Powell, who celebrates his second win of the season.